What happened to Jimmy Burke's money from the famous Lufthansa heist in 1978? Let's check it out. Welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organized crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today, we're going to take a quick look at what happened to Jimmy Burke's money from the Lufthansa heist, made famous in the 1990 film Goodfellas. The events of the December 1978 Lufthansa heist and the subsequent murders have been well documented. It is reported that close to $6 million in cash and around $1 million in jewellery were taken during the raid at Kennedy Airport. Sources state that out of the money stolen, some initial payments were made to the crime families who shared the airport as territory. The Gambino crime family's interest in the robbery had been represented by Paolo Lacastri and the Bonanno crime family by Vincent Tassaro. Lucastri, a Sicilian immigrant, was allegedly an associate of Carmine Fatico's crew, which at the time was being run by John Gotti as acting captain due to Fatico having legal problems and being under house arrest. Paolo Lucastri's role was to ensure that the Gambino crime family received their $200,000 share of the take. Lucastri was found shot to death on June 13, 1979. Banano crime family mobster Vincent Asaro would later be found not guilty in 2015 of any involvement in the Lufthansa heist. In 2011, Vincent Asaro had been recorded, seemingly moaning about not receiving his correct share from the robbery. Asaro said in the recording, It's life. We did it to ourselves. We never got our right money, what we were supposed to get. We got fucked all around. That fucking Jimmy kept everything. However, despite testimony from informant Gaspar Valenti, prosecutors couldn't confirm solidly enough that Vincent Asaro was specifically talking about the Lufthansa heist. Jimmy Burke, whose men carried out the heist, was an associate of the Lucchese crime family. And it is said that he gave Lucchese captain Pauli Vario a $1.2 million share of the stolen cash as tribute. But what became of Jimmy Burke's money from the heist? The man who was one of the masterminds, along with Louis Werner and Peter Gruenwald, of the famous Kennedy Airport robbery. Former Bonanno crime family captain turned government witness Dominic Sicali was still just an associate back in 2001 when he was sat in Rayo's the famous East Harlem restaurant, with Bonanno mobster Vincent Vinnie Gorgias Basciano and another Bonanno gangster, former captain Anthony Bruno Indelicato. Indelicato had been back on the street around three years after serving just over a decade of a 40-year sentence for being part of the hit team in 1979 that murdered the greatly feared Bonanno mobster Carmine Galante. It was whilst sat in Reos in December 2001 with Basciano and Indelicato that Dominic Sicali heard Bruno Indelicato say to Vinnie Gorgias that they should start putting the money back. Sicali was curious about what the two experienced mobsters were referring to, but knew better than to ask, as he was just an associate at the time. However, as the conversation continued, Sicali's interest was piqued to the extent that he felt compelled to inquire. Dominic Sicali would relay this information years later to the author Robert Sperner for their fascinating book together. After Dominic Sicali asked what money they were talking about, the book states, Vinnie looked at Bruno. With a nearly imperceptible shrug of his shoulders, Bruno signalled his approval. Lufthansa, Vinnie said. The airlines? Dominic asked. That's right, said Vinny. Unsure what Lufthansa Airlines had to do with their conversation, he asked. Are you talking about the robbery? Vinny nodded affirmatively. They never found the money, right? Again, Vinny nodded, 
but this time he smiled. But before we go into more detail on that, let's go back a few years. In 1980, over a year after the famous robbery, James Jimmy the Gent Burke was arrested for parole violation. And then, in January 1982, Jimmy the Gent received a lengthy prison sentence for fixing college basketball games. As reported in one newspaper, US District Court Judge Henry Bramwell threw the book yesterday at James Jimmy the Gent Burke and two conspirators in the 1978-79 Boston College basketball point shaving scandal. Burke was sentenced to 20 years in prison and fined $30,000 in Brooklyn Federal Court. And then in 1985, while serving this sentence, Jimmy Burke was found guilty of murdering a man called Richard Eaton back in 1979. Depending on the source you read, Richard Eaton was going to be laundering $250,000 of Jimmy Burke's Lufthansa money, but instead tried to rip him off. Other sources state that Jimmy Burke's $250,000 had been invested by Eaton in a failed drug deal. Either way, Eaton was murdered, and his frozen body was found hogtied in a trailer in Brooklyn. Jimmy Burke was given a life sentence. Jimmy the Gent would develop lung cancer in prison, and while serving his time in Wendy Correctional Facility in Alden, New York, Jimmy Burke died on April 13th, 1996. He was 64 years old. He would have been eligible for parole eight years later in 2004. After the Lufthansa heist and before going to prison, Jimmy Burke had rented a safety deposit box in a bank in Queens. It is said that he put between $2 million and $4 million inside the box. He then entrusted the keys to his two daughters, Kathy and Robin. Robert Spanner's book states, Like their father, both women lived modestly and were hard workers. Robin drove a school bus in Queens and Kathy owned a Manhattan jewellery store, so perhaps the women were saving the money as a rainy day fund or a retirement nest egg. After being convicted of being involved in Carmine Galante's murder, Anthony Bruno and Delicato was serving part of his sentence in Lewisburg Penitentiary. It is here that he met Jimmy Burke's daughter, Kathy. Robert Sperner's book states that Bruno and Delicato had become smitten with an attractive brunette named Kathy Burke, whom he had met while she was visiting his fellow inmate, John Carniglia. A member of the Gambino family, Carniglia was a close associate of the family's boss, John Gotti. After meeting Kathy Burke, Bruno began corresponding with her. The couple married in 1992, while Bruno was serving time in the federal prison in Terre Haute, Indiana. And, it is through his wife, Kathy Burke, that Anthony Bruno and Delicato learned of the safety deposit box full of Jimmy the Gent's Lufthansa money. As former mobster Dominic Zaccali would recall, Bruno knew about the money through Kathy, his wife, said Dominic, recounting Vinny's story. In those days, Kathy was basically in control of everything the safety deposit box, her mother Mickey, and the rest of the family affairs. Even though she was married to Bruno, she had an independent streak. She had a jewellery business, she travelled to Paris several times a year, and she even owned rental property that Bruno didn't know about. Kathy was a smart girl. She acted tough, but she was very nice. As mentioned, despite receiving a 40-year sentence for being part of the hit team that murdered Carmine Galante, Bruno Indelicato was paroled in 1998, after nearly 12 years inside. Back on the street, the former Bonanno family captain, now a soldier, would inform Vincent Basciano about his wife's safety deposit box. Vinnie Gorgeous and Bruno knew that Kathy Burke would never give them access to the safety deposit box. So, they decided to approach Kathy's sister, Robin. Dominic Sicali would recall, 
Robin was not a dummy, said Dominic, but she was more trusting of Vinnie and Bruno, who was her brother-in-law. So they told Robin that they needed to borrow money for a business deal they were arranging. They asked her not to tell Kathy about the loan, and they promised to return the money quickly with interest. They basically charmed Robin into giving them the money. Bruno and Delicato and Vincent Basciano would make several withdrawals from the safety deposit box between 1999 and 2000, each time taking out somewhere between two hundred and five hundred thousand dollars so what exactly did Vinnie Gorgeous and Bruno and Delicato do with Jimmy Burke's Lufthansa money bizarrely some of the stolen cash was invested in an animated movie about ferrets Basciano had been approached by a movie producer by the name of Frank Avianca about the investment opportunity the animated movie was called Ferretina and the actress Cheetah Rivera was allegedly attached. Sony Pictures had supposedly committed $20 million towards marketing. And so Vincent Basciano invested $250,000 into the project. However, ultimately, Ferretina, the animated movie about ferrets, was never made. And so what became of the rest of the money? According to Bonanno family captain Dominic Sicali, the majority of the money was lost by Vinnie Gorgeous at the casinos. Basciano was known for his love of gambling. Bonanno family captain turned informant Frank Coper would later recall how he had been tipped off about Vinnie Gorgeous's gambling by family boss Joe Messino. Coper would even state that he was introduced to Basciano by Salvatale on a trip to Atlantic City, as covered in the book Vinnie Gorgeous by Anthony De Stefano. The book reads, Copa recalled that he had first met Basciano when Vitali introduced him during a trip to Atlantic City in the late 1980s. Both Vitali and Basciano had won about $15,000 on the trip. Basciano liked to gamble, and Messino tipped off Copa that Vinny from the Bronx, as he was still known then, liked to borrow a lot of money to feed his gambling habit. Copa told the agents that at one point he loaned $15,000 to Basciano. Dominic Sicali, Basciano's right-hand man, would state how Vinny Gorgeous gambled his way through Jimmy the Gent's money. Robert Sperner's book, Rights of Sicali's Memories, the first batch of money taken from the Burke's safety deposit box totaled about $500,000. Vinny promptly lost it all, betting sports games and playing blackjack at Foxwoods Resort Casino in Connecticut. I guess I shouldn't have been surprised, said Dominic. When I got to know Vinny, I realised that he was a degenerate gambler. He had been banned from all the casinos in Atlantic City because he didn't pay his debts. He used the money from the safety deposit box to pay off his losses and be able to keep gambling. Vincent Basciano was a big earner for the Bonanno crime family. He was making between $500,000 and $1 million a year from his bookmaking operations and illegal Joker Poker slot machines. The federal authorities estimated that in the early 2000s, Vinnie Gorgeous's net worth was around $11 million. Basciano's crew even gave him $200,000 as a tribute at Christmas. However, as Dominic Sicali recalls of his mentor, but as fast as the money came in, Vinny spent it on gambling binges. Ultimately, Vinny Gorgeous and Bruno and Delicato went through all of Jimmy Burke's Lufthansa money in the safety deposit box. They even stole $40,000 that had been given to Robin Burke by Genovese mobster Ciro Perone for college tuition for Robin's daughter. Ciro Perone's son Frank was the father of Robin's daughter. Ciro Perone was a powerful mobster with the Genovese crime family and had a violent criminal past himself. But this didn't concern Basciano and Indelicato. Dominic Sicali would recall, 
Ciro would have been upset that they took his granddaughter's money. But what could he do? Vinny and Bruno were killers in their own right. At the end of the day, they could tell Ciro that Robin gave the money to them. It was none of his fucking concern. In 2004, Kathy Burke discovered that the safety deposit box was empty. And unsurprisingly, she was not happy. She was furious, Dominic said. She was so angry at Bruno for taking the money that she nearly ended her marriage to him. Vincent Basciano is currently serving life in prison without parole for murder and racketeering, having been arrested in 2004. Anthony Bruno and Delicato was released last year to a halfway house after serving around three quarters of a 20 year sentence for being the driver in the 2001 hit on Frank Santoro. Indelicato had pled guilty to the murder and was sentenced in December 2008. He was released in the early part of 2022. Jimmy Burke's stolen millions from the Lufthansa heist were never paid back. And don't forget to support the channel, sign up to OC Shorts on Patreon for bonus videos and content. Click on the link in the comments below. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.